we would like to welcome you as a new Fleet Watcher Driver App user. Upon submitting a valid email address, you will soon be receiving an enrollment confirmation email. Find the email title enrollment in your inbox. Once you open it, you will find it includes links to the App Store, where you will be able to download the app on your mobile device. Keep in mind there are different links for Android and for iOS devices. The email will also include your username as well as a temporary password. The username should match your email address, but make sure to copy or write down the temporary password provided. Upon clicking on the link, you should be able to download the app on your mobile device. Please wait for the download to complete. The app is only 12.7 megabytes in size, so it should not take very long. Once the download process has been completed, tap on Open or find the app on your home screen in order to successfully launch it. On the app home screen, please enter the login credentials provided on the enrollment email. Keep in mind, both the username and password fields are case sensitive and should be entered using lowercase characters. There is an icon next to the password box that will allow you to look at your password in case you need to confirm that it has been entered correctly. Lastly, tap on the login button to go to the next page where you will be able to complete your driver profile. This screen will require you to enter information for your first and last name, as well as a new password that should have at least eight characters in length. It can be anything of your choosing. Again, an icon next to the box will allow you to look at this password in case you need to confirm it. Contact information requires a cell phone number, as well as a cell phone carrier or service provider. Once the information has been entered, proceed by tapping on the Save button. The next step will require you to allow all requested permissions. These include notifications, location data, and motion detection. These are all needed in order for the app to fully work as intended. Once these have all been enabled, a confirmation pop-up will appear. The next screen is what you should see going forward every time you open the Fleet Watcher driver app. You will notice a button labeled Choose Asset, which will allow you to select the truck you will be driving for the day. Select the truck from the list to start operating. Notice how the app will now display a large green check mark on the center of the screen. This is confirmation that you are on driving mode and should now be tracking. Alternatively, the stop driving button will immediately prompt the app to stop collecting tracking data. So always make sure you remain on driving mode until the end of your shift. While not on driving mode, the app will also allow you to switch trucks. Tap on the switch trucks button select a different asset from the list, and select Drive at the top right corner. Once you've done that, you can confirm the selection by tapping Yes on the confirmation pop-up if prompted. The app will then put you in driving mode on the new truck you selected. While on driving mode, the app can continue running in the background. It is not necessary to keep the app running in the foreground of your device. This will allow you to use your phone or other apps without having to log out or stop driving mid-shift. Remember to not close the app during your shift, as this will not allow the app to continue to work as intended. Instead, at the end of the day, go back to the app and tap on Stop Driving. Additionally, you can then proceed to tap on the button at the top right corner of the app. This will open a menu that displays a few options. Tap on Leave Truck in order to make that truck available for the next driver. Upon your next login, you will be able to return to the same truck, if available, or select a new one from the list. The app menu also includes other options, such as a user guide that can be accessed at any time. This guide has a lot of valuable information that has also been covered on this video, such as a definition of the different driver app modes, switching and leaving trucks, and more. You can also edit your profile information or password from this menu. By tapping on profile slash password, you can edit your name,
password or contact information if needed. Just make sure to tap on save once you're done with any changes. Lastly, the menu will also display the app version you are running at the top. We will show you how to enable automatic updates later on this video. On iOS devices, such as iPhones, setting location access to be shared at all times is required in order for the app to be able to run in the background. To make sure this setting is properly enabled, you can go into your phone settings and use the search bar at the top to find the settings for the driver app. Once there, tap on location and make sure the access is set to always. Setting location access to be shared while using the app only will not allow the app to collect data while in the background, which can result in inaccurate location and potentially affect driver pay. The precise location toggle below should also be enabled as well as the background app refresh on the previous screen. To avoid having to manually update the app on a regular basis, automatic app updates can be enabled on your device. You can go into your app store settings in order to enable this option. Here's an example of how this can be done on iOS devices. Once again, make sure the toggle is enabled before you leave the settings screen. On some Android devices, such as Samsung phones and tablets, the battery optimization setting needs to be disabled for the driver app to be able to run in the background. You can do this by tapping and holding the driver app on your device and selecting App Info. This will open the app settings, where you can select Battery, and then Optimize Battery Usage. Make sure you select the filter to include all apps, as opposed to apps not optimized only. You can then search for Fleet Watcher Driver and make sure the setting is disabled by setting the toggle to the off position. Smartphones or tablets with unlimited or sufficient data are compatible with the driver app if they run on Android or iOS and are still receiving operating system updates. The driver app does not work while on Wi-Fi. We suggest turning Wi-Fi off while on driving mode to avoid service interruptions. The driver app uses very limited data. It should only use a few megabytes per month, the equivalent of only five minutes of browsing on social media. Even though location settings need to be set to always share data, the driver app will never continue to track your location once you are no longer in driving mode. Thank you so much for watching and welcome.